As Yennefer of Bengerberg told it, there had been a magic explosion in Skellig. Related to Ciri's reappearance, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt set out for the Isles to join the sorcerers and seek further clues of Ciri's whereabouts. The druid Ermion, however, had no intention of letting Yennefer examine the woods, so Geralt and Yen sought out Jarl Kraken Krait, who helped break down the druid's resolve. This blade's not worth shite if a weak arm's swinging it, eh? Birthday tomorrow. I've no clue what to give her. Maybe a nice little axe. Got me eye on you. Come on.
I say? Maybe. But I've got Praise good reason. Day. I hold Siri dear too. <coughs> yes? Can hear you two clear on the other side of the island. Good. May all Skellige know, Jennifer of Vengerberg is a common thief. Control yourself, Druid. I haven't stolen anything. I've merely borrowed something and fully intend to return it. Ha! The generosity. Just one small problem. Once used, the mask is rendered completely worthless. Not to mention the risk you'll bury us alive and all the Isles with us. Barry, what are you talking about? She's not told you? Might have expected as much. The myth is that Orboros created the mask when the envious sea swallowed his beloved. Unable to bear the prospect that he would never again see his betrothed, Orboros made the mask, which would allow him to peer into the past. He knew, however, that he could only use it once. So he waited. Waited until his longing grew so strong that it became unbearable. When the sea learnt of the mask, it was quick to respond. It made known its threat that whosoever used the mask would bring the sea's wrath down on them. For in vengeance, the sea would rise and flood all the lands and drown the living. So, no one's ever used the mask? No, but... So you don't actually know if it works, how it works? Of course I do. The myths tell me. You believe the myths? Only ignorant fools belittle their significance. Besides, it's not the myths that are on trial here. It's the thief. On the one hand, a theft. On the other, Ciri's life. I also care deeply for the girl. I proposed a series of other methods. Yennefer refused to listen. She claimed they would take too long. Whereas she wants, she needs immediate results. She has always been hot-headed. True. At least this time she's got a valid reason for it. Never mind that she might bring... What? Huh. What was that? No. Jennifer's used the mask. Follow me! We must neutralize the mask! Mutant's power! that unicorns damn it yana i saw the foglets i meant how they get here the power of the mask summoned them what now the mask reveals the past but only in certain places places where past events left a strong magical imprint take it want me to wear it yes i'll cast a spell that will let me see through your eyes Gonna read my mind again? You object? You do it whenever you want anyway. No harm in it then, is there? Let's go. Already found the first spot. Any 
instructions? Keep it on until you've seen everything. And don't stray far. Telepathy is limited in range. What's that? A portal? Two people emerged from it. The woman was Siri. How can you know? The way she moved. Like a witcher. Seems they went that way. Come. Let's find the next spot. Powerful that even the echo was dangerous. I wager it destroyed the forest. But Siri and her companion weren't harmed. I saw them escape. Let's see where to. The place is creepy. I don't like it. Nor do I. Anyone here when this happened had a slim chance of surviving. I know what you're thinking, but don't worry. Siri can take care of herself. Chased Siri. See that? Might have moved. She escaped through another portal. Know where it led? Magic residue trail leads to Velen. Any chance you can figure out where Siri's companion fled to? His portal's gotta be nearby. I'll try to find it. Come. Ready? Nice fight. One repelled the other with powerful magic, then fled through a portal. A mage? Most likely. It's Ciri's companion and the one who wounded her. How do you know? I don't. Making an educated guess. They both appeared in the previous visions. Ciri's got a powerful ally. Maybe something left of the one who got hit by the spell. It's clearing up. Ermion must be getting a handle on the weather. Which means he'll be free to attack us again. Are you pleased with yourselves? Look at what you brought down on us! If someone's death were to help you find Ciri, would you start making human sacrifices as well? Relax. Storm's died down. You've clearly got things under control. For now! But who knows what will be a week or two on? Stop panicking! Here's your mask. It is worthless. It's an unwieldy ashtray at best. I hope you've learned something useful at least. Very. I'm talking to Geralt. You! You I'll deal with later. So? Got a feeling we found something interesting. Just need to examine one more thing. We're flying in that direction. Something's pinned under that tree. Can you? I can. Sword Nix. Ciri's friend must have... what do you call it? Vaporized him. Exquisite. The armor. Though the workmanship's unfamiliar. Can't even tell where it's from. Probably because it belonged to a rider of the Wild Hunt. What? 
So it's true. The wild hunt, I feared as much. First here, then on Hindersfjall. What did they want? They're looking for Siri. But why? It's a long story that involves the Elder Blood, Siri's abilities. Did she, perchance, inherit her mother's skills? Siri can do much more than her mother could. But right now, we're much more interested in what the Wild Hunt was doing on Hindusfjall. Well, it happened at least a fortnight after the cataclysm struck here on Ard Skelly. The raids raided Lofoten at dusk in a blizzard. Itself a strange occurrence for that time of year. The islanders said the wraiths. They barged into their huts, killed anyone who resisted, then galloped inland, laughing fiendishly. Anyone survive? A dozen or so women and an old man. Next stop, Hindersfjall. I'll meet you on the beach near Lofoten. Wait, can't we go together, right now? But you detest being teleported. Don't exactly like potions either, but I drink them when I have to. <laughs> you also drink them when there's no need at all. Very well. Let's go. Stay close to me. Good luck to you. Inform me once you've learned anything new. Quite a few years since I was last in this school. But if I remember correctly, Lockerton should be this way. Raised huts and fresh graves. This must be it. Gathering of some kind. We've come at a bad time. There's no good time to talk about the wild hunt. What if Craven told the truth? Get in the grind, they what if he didn't abandon us? Me. But listen, Tom Horn. They won't speak it. He was our own. Perhaps it were written in the stars. He sailed on the same longship, sat o'er to us. But when they attacked, he fled. Ritual of some kind. We'll have to wait. We'll do no such thing. Dear sisters, pardon the interruption, but we've an important matter to discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? So... And we're looking for someone who's still alive. Please, this is urgent. <sighs> then speak. We're looking for a young woman, name of Siri. Ashen hair, green eyes. I'm sorry. She's not here. Unless she lies in a grave. That is, I do not recall one by that name. But I've buried so many. I may have forgotten. This... this Siri... Uh, has she a scar here on her cheek? Yes. Yes, what happened to her? Don't know. Saw her but for a moment. Right before... before it all. She was in the stables. With Craven. A thousand curses upon him. This Craven you mention, does he have a name? He did. Until the elders struck him from the saga of ancestors. It's as if he has ceased to exist. The lore forbids anyone from touching him, speaking to him, even uttering his name. What did he do to deserve that? He fled from the wild hunt. He alone. We need to talk to him, even if it's not in keeping with your customs. You've come too late. He went to the garden to fight Morkvag. Morkvarg. What's that? Who, you mean? The vilest man ever to inhabit Skelliger. Nothing was ever sacred to him. He attacked his own clan's lands, took gold from Nilfgaard, killed children, pregnant women. Mm -hmm. Know the type. They said he feared only one thing, the wrath of the gods. Morkvarg sought to prove how wrong they were, so he sailed to Hindusfjall to ransack the goddess's garden. This was over a decade ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his way. He thrust a blade between her ribs and cast her down in the mud. As her lifeblood left her, she cursed him. And Morkvarg transformed into a beast. A curse? A monster? You've got some work to do. I 
I can get rid of Morkvark. Don't know what he's turned into, but a silver sword should do the trick. It's not that simple. There have been those who have bested Morkvark, yet he always returns. So, it's a complex curse. Meaning I need more information. I understand. But I've told you all I know. Speak with Toradar's son, Einar. He was in the garden when Morkvarg and his men attacked. He saw what happened. Of all the pilgrims there at the time, he alone escaped with his life. He settled in Larvik. You'll find him there at the landing, provided he's not out to sea when you arrive. Where is this holy garden? Not far from here. North. We cultivated healing herbs there once. And now? Now we walk only as far as the tree the goddess planted. We place our offerings and make our pleas before it. Those who venture below remain in the garden forever. Thanks for your help. I understand you intend to enter the garden. I dislike it when foreigners enter the sacred grounds. But so be it. Custom demands pilgrims make an offering of their own blood before the tree. Craven surely did so. Unless he lacked not only courage, but respect for Freyr as well. You needn't worry about us. Geralt and I always give the gods the respect they are due. Witcher. This trail might have gone cold. Even if Craven's dead, we'll manage. How exactly? You'll see when the time comes. You could stand to be nicer sometimes. I suppose. But then I wouldn't be the woman you fell in love with, would I? My, my. That must be more card. A bite. Just one morsel. One piece. A crumb. Food. Food. <coughs> Shite. Not, not again. Not again. He doesn't seem happy to see us. Wait till he gets a closer look at me. So, where shall we start? Let's go to that tree the sisters mentioned. Plan to bleed yourself for the goddess? Not necessarily. But Craven did. We just might pick up his scent. Craven was here. Look, the impression. Kneeled down on one knee and cut himself to make the offering. Bloodstains, see them? No. I may be inhumanly beautiful, but I don't have superhuman senses. Not like you. Which is why you should stay up here. No offense, but in that undergrowth and mud, you'd be like a... Ball and chain? Planned to say it gentler, but yeah, that's basically what I had in mind. Fine. We'll do as you say. If the need arises, I can cast spells from up here. Fine. See you later then. Don't get hurt. Remember, I need you if I'm to find Siri. Oh, come. I was just teasing. Fool. I need you. Period. Better? Hmm. Better. Craven's blood. Flowing profusely. Trails clear. Should lead me to him.
Light prints. Craven trod carefully. No, this one's been here a while. What? I can't hear you. If you want to chat... Monster tracks. Running. Chasing something. Looks like Morkvar got bored of sneaking around and attacked. <laughs> Locked it, or it's just locked. Gotta go round. Morkvark doesn't give up easily. Not your lucky day. sluice. Mechanism looks pretty standard. One lever to choose the sluice gate, the other to work it. Lots of prints, old and new. His lair must be nearby. Key, Ramond, where's the key? Charterhouse, the crate, but the key, where's the key? Ah. Why so silent, Robert? You thief, you rogue, you whore son, you worthless bastard! I will find the key without you, idiot, stupid prick! Thank <laughs> you. 
you can I? So much is the curse. Uh, makes me bite, uh, scratch, mangle, uh, till I drop. Uh, you've got time before the blood's gone from me and, and I return. Listen uh, uh, carefully. Uh, undo, undo the curse. Uh, free me. Uh, finally, I will, I will reward you. So, no joy in being a werewolf? Nay. It's the worst. Not the garden to which I'm bound, even. But the hunger. Anything I devour returns to ash. Ash I cannot eat. I cannot drink. Yet I bloody live and roam and prowl. The hunger is terrible, ah, terrible. I bite my own flesh, but the smallest morsel burns my thro throat like boiling tar. Everlasting hunger. Classic as curses go. Goes to explain why all those corpses went untouched. Help, or I'll re return to shred you, rip your limb from limb. <sighs> See what I can do. See and do, or I shall return. Tiresome conversation. Not interested. What will you do? Uh, what a witcher ought to. broke through this door. Must have smelled something beyond it. Symbol of Freya. No sign of feeding. Markvarg doesn't devour his victims. Strange. Hey. 
Hey, can you hear me? Geralt! You scared me. Sorry, didn't mean to. I hope not. Let me know once you find Craven. Craven's blood. One of Freya's priestesses. No signs Our of violence. Doesn't give up easily. Must have died of hunger a while ago. Craven's blood. been for a while. Yen, found him. And? And I've seen rot fiends in better condition than this. Shit. Fine, scrape together what you can and haul the bits up here. Take it you've got a plan? No, I just like to stare at rotting flesh. We'll talk when you get here, all right? That's Yen, charming as ever. Come on, someone wants to meet you. Ugh. Putrefaction set in. But the vocal cords are intact. We might still get something out of him. Doesn't look like the talkative type. Anyone can be made to talk. Even a corpse. One must simply know how. Thought necromancy was strictly forbidden. So is premarital sex. But I'm not about to be bothered by such foolishness. Need any ingredients for the spell? Hmm. The blood of a newborn, a virgin's tongue, and the eye of a newt. Mind trying again without the sarcasm? I don't need a thing. I'm a sorceress, not a village herbalist. All I need is energy. A great deal of energy. We're very lucky this place is saturated with magic. It's also considered sacred. Priestesses will be furious if you use the garden's power to revive a corpse. All the more reason to get it over with before they realize what's happening. Let's get to work. Selene, Selene, Dufrain. Selene, Selene, Davidar.
Siri. Zirel. Can you hear me? I can. I must leave you now. We will meet beneath drowned dead rock. Can you remember? Mm -hmm. Repeat it. Drowned dead rock. You're awake, and I thought you'd... Where, where am I? And who are you? It's all right. You're on Hindersfjall, village of Lofoten. They call me Skjall. But how'd I... What? We fished you out of the sea. Me and that friend of yours. Help me stand. I, I don't... I don't think you should... The less talk, more giving me a hand. Ah, that's me brother for you. Out of sight for a second, and he's already put his paws on a girl. Astrid, you're as dim as dishwater. You know perfectly well I'm helping her up. It's a shame, I know, but I've got to interrupt your courtship. Come, we're off to the sauna. Where? Why is your mouth agape like you're noodling for an eel? The sauna. Girl, you was blue as a whale when we brought you in here. Your blood needs thawing. I'm sorry, but I must get to Drowned Dead Rock as fast as possible. I shan't force you to stay, but the rock's a ways off and you can barely walk. You best take a horse. True. Skjall can prepare a horse for you. You'll have to wait a spell, but even so, you'll get there faster than on foot. Fine, that'll do. Thank you both very much. Pish posh, there's no need. Now come, we gotta sweat the sick out of you. Where are my clothes? I've taken them already. Come on. That man in the mask, he's from afar, isn't he? Oh yes, I'm very far away. Where exactly? Aren't you nosy? Surprised? Been sitting in this fish puddle my whole life. I'd love to travel like you. Like me? No, you wouldn't like that. Trust me. But the arm hurts. Good. Means your muscles are working. And mind the string don't catch on your nose. Ah! I know! Go and get out of those rags. All of them? I should think so. Take the wash down. You keep practicing. Right. If your fingers tired, grip the. Oh, you're here. The horses are ready. As am I. Shall we ride? Listen, I. I hope. My sister, she didn't talk any nonsense to you, did she? I'm sorry, but I can't bring myself to chat right now. Right. Besides, it's not important. I'll take Njord. You can ride Grey back. She's old, but she'll make the... Run for your lives! You! 
You stay here. I'm going. I can look after myself. What was that? The Wild Hunt. Right the rock. The world's end! No. Not yet. But I must go. They're here for me. Get on the horse. I'll show you the way to the rock. You should stay. See to Astrid, your mum. Afterwards. Once I'm sure you'll make it. Let's go!
became of that creature? Where is he? Stop! What? I saw him and stole us! But he sold him! To whom? No! Be gone. Did you tell them? Clear my name! Be gone, I say! <laughs> Yen, let's get out of here. Now. You needn't ask me twice. The garden! Our garden! How could you? We helped! And you! Inconceivable! Now, now. Don't you dare try to calm me. We've every right to be furious. Furious! And you! You will pay for this. We had no choice. We'd never have learned what happened to her. Do you really think you're justified? That your hunt for a foreign woman gives you the right to destroy our garden? I'm sure it doesn't in your eyes. I shall make sure all Skellige hears what you did here. Wait. I did this. I alone. Geralt tried to stop me. I refused to listen. I might have known. They warned me about you. Sorceresses. None shall open their door to you. None shall feed your hunger, and none shall tend to your wounds. Yen, you didn't have to do that. But I wanted to. I'd rather not talk about it. We must focus on what Skal told us. The key to finding Ciri is that ugly thing Skell saw on the beach. That's what I think. You know, I saw something, or someone who looked just like that. Where? In Valin, in a castle until recently ruled by a self-proclaimed baron, now controlled by his right-hand man, Sergeant Ardle. You must go and get the creature. I don't know, buy him, kidnap him. The thing's clearly cursed. Its mind is a jumble. Can't have anything resembling a normal conversation with it. Grumbling won't get us anywhere. All will be well. A curse, please. Nothing a sorceress and a witcher couldn't handle. Now, tell me, do you... No, never mind. You were gonna ask me something. What was it? Tell me, do you think... Is there a chance that thing might be Siri? That, well, she's been transformed by some curse? Don't even want to think about it. Geralt, we must. Might be. From what I know, she was looking to cure a powerful curse while in Novigrad. But I'll lose it if I try to deal with that possibility now. We have to do what we can, see what happens. Didn't learn much. Though, though we can be sure Ciri's not in Skellige anymore. Not in Velen or Novigrad either. She's disappeared. Again. Perhaps we should re-examine what we've learned. We might have missed a clue that would push us forward. Certainly hope that's the case. Uh, makes me wonder what she's gotten herself into. Can't even begin to imagine. But we will pull her out of it. 
safe and sound. That I promise you. Ciri's trail in Skellige. We followed it, exhausted the possibilities. Might be time to go back to the continent. Before you do, there's one thing. It's important. What's that? Let's meet in Larvik, at the Warrior's Hall. We'll speak there. Fine. Larvik. See you there soon. Thank you. For that, and for your help in the garden. I'd not have managed without you. It was nothing. Geralt, you know me. I'm rare to praise, but when I do, it is sincere. man alive and the victim of a curse was the key to finding the young woman. What's on the love of you? Hope me I assist you. Need some armor. So long.
need to talk to you. About? Uma, gonna take him with me. Believe you meant to say you've come to ask my permission to take him. I am in charge now, so... Not about to ask for anything. I'm telling you, you can try to stop me. But then I'll bring your enlightened reign to an end. An abrupt and premature end. Think you got me shaking in my boots? You sure as hell should be. Fine. Cripple's not worth no blood. See the groom. He ought to be glad to give him up. Bugger's been eating from the feed bags. And a pleasant journey to you both. Thank you kindly. Taking Uma. There ain't a. Sergeant Hartle said I could. Bring him back, though, won't you? Be awful dull without him. Find something else to laugh at. I don't know. Catch some frogs and shove straws up their asses. Huh? <laughs> that one of your Witcher games. Witcher version's different. Don't make me show you. Open the door. Now. Here's Roach. She'll take us to Kaer Morhen. Well, come on. Looks like we got company. Elf Guardian battle mounts. What do you want? The Emperor's displeased with you. Then he ought to ask somebody else for help. The Emperor does not ask anyone for anything. You will ride with us to Vitsima. Sure about that? Don't even try. Fine. Lead the way. And the third army will sweep in from the west to take Bandli. If I may, Your Imperial Majesty, our spies report that the garrison at Banglin consists almost wholly of mercenaries. Bribery, then. We stand to lose exactly no men in battle. And we stand to lose less time. Very well. 
Give the orders. Then set sail. As you wish. At once! Your Imperial Majesty, Yennefer. I did not have you brought here for an exchange of courtesies. Report. As you wish, Your Majesty. Siri. Well, this man is the key to finding her. I give you three solid leads. Trails as fresh as morning dew. The aid of my spies and my court sorcerers. Yet in my daughter's stead, you bring me this... monstrosity? I hope you have more to say. For your sake. Listen, I'm looking for a needle in a haystack. A needle that at any moment can... It's a difficult task, I know this. What of it? Listen to me. I rule the largest empire the world has ever known. I wage a war against the North, command men in tens of thousands, while at home the trade corporations and nobles seek to depose me. You cannot expect me to pity you the difficulty of your task. This monstrosity might well be your daughter. Its body is the product of a curse someone hides inside it. Can you lift this curse? I've done a great deal of research, made inquiries, but to lift it I would need to know the words used to cast it, and that... Raphael Ellen, Kedmil Foli, Gladiv Don Eptened, Bandro Ithne Iacus. Dandelion told me. Siri talked to him about it. At last, you provide a pleasant surprise. Lady Yennefer, my question stands. Yes. I believe I can, but I must... Details do not interest me. Geralt, you've achieved precious little, yet admittedly more than the bumblers in my spy corps have. I give you half the promised reward. You will receive the other when you bring me Siri. This audience is over. Till the next. So, how do we lift Uma's curse? We must take him to Kaer Morhen. Oh, and Geralt. Forgive me, but I'm unable to teleport you, Uma, and Roach, so... Don't worry. We'll ride there. Never did like teleporting. Take care of yourself. Wait. Here. Probably better if you keep it. Of course. I'm off. His long search for Ciri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Geralt needed to lift the curse, so he took Uma to the home of the world's greatest specialists on dark spells, to the Witcher's Fortress of Kaer Morhen.
Been away quite a while. Too long. And your journey, how was it? Calm, if you don't count the forked tail that flew over our heads a few miles back. Passenger got a little restless. Hmm. What have we here? Multiple deformities. Eyes, ears, nostrils, a hair lip. And is this... Now, now, calm down. And if it was right on one count, thing sure isn't pretty. Yen's here already. And how? Huh. You two argue? Geralt, I understand she's a... Well, how do I put this? Emancipated, strong-willed woman. But do manners count for nothing? She teleports in, not even a nice to see. Jumps right into a, we've a curse to lift. There's this to do and that. So Eskel and Lambert get going. And she went to the guest room to rearrange things. Through the bed, off the balcony. So where is everyone? Eskel's hunting fork tails. Gotta nip that infestation in the bud. And since Yennefer needs to distill some ingredients from their organs, well, like they say, two birds, one stone. Lambert's still in the keep, preparing to venture into the mountains to enrich the phylactery with elemental power. Mm -hmm. And Yen? Assembling a megascope. Wanted my help running around with some chirping contraption, searching for something. But I'm too old for that. Nonsense. I should let her know I'm here. If you say so, but don't go thinking she'll throw her arms around your neck. recently. Inside a while.
Rocks. Tracks end here. Great. Could try to follow my nose. Can't smell Eskel, but there is the goat. Just gotta find a sample of its scent. Bits of bark. Looks like Eskel's goat rubbed against this tree. A clump of goat hair. Ugh, the stench. Supposed to be forktail bait. <laughs> Guess it works for witchers as well. As for forktails, bait them thusly. Pound a stake in the soil, bind a goat to it, then hide ye in near to shrubbery post haste. Brother Adelbert's bestiary, page 82. See your memories back in full. And sharp as ever, in spite of your years. You're as old as I am, wise guy. Don't let the gray hair fool you. Good to finally see you again. You too. How are things? Same old, same old. Another day, another drowner. That it? I'm a simple witcher wolf. Don't fight dragons, don't fraternize with kings, and don't sleep with sorceresses. Unlike some. Fame's not all it's made out to be. Consider myself lucky if I were you. You're right. It takes a lot of champagne to wash down all that caviar. That is tough going. Shh. Hear that? Incoming. There it is. See it. Picked a bad day to leave its nest. Big bastard! We can handle this. Damn it! It's taking off! Hit the wings! Scared to leave the horse down below? Forktail could decide to have at him. <laughs> Scorpion's a war horse. A purebred Kedwenny. He'll be fine. Have I told you how I got him? No, don't think so. Saved this lost night once. You know, woods, dark, wolves. Bleeding heavily. From an artery. Blood's light colored. Can't fly much further. The old hen she cackled. She cackled on the fence. The old hen she cackled. And she ain't cackled since. What's that song? Some old hill folk tune. Perfect for hiking. My mom sang it to me. You remember her? Just that silly song. Nothing else. Landed here. Not very gracefully. Look at the tracks. It broke its wing, I think. Hmm. Might want to look around some. Went to its lair, looks like. Good. Means it's done fleeing. Gonna make a stand. Collect the spinal fluid and get out of here. Cut into its back, just below the skull.
Yen tell you why she wants this? Mean you don't know? And that, uh, doesn't bug you? No, it doesn't. I trust her. And they say people learn from their mistakes. What was that? Nothing, nothing. Great. Let's go. Hey, what do you say to a little race? Maybe see who's faster, Roach or Scorpion. And who's the better rider. Not really a challenge, because I could beat you riding a lame sow. But why not? You're a lame sow yourself. First to care, Morhen wins! Let's go! I could beat you riding a lame sow. <laughs> Good one. Underestimated you, or should I say scorpion. One fast mount. And I overestimated you. If I'd known it'd be that easy, I'd have bet something on it. All right. Name your prize. Earned it. Hmm. Had this craving for Mahakaman spirit a while now. Nothing burns quite like it. Have a bottle for you next time we meet. Promise. Hold you to that. Again. Hmm. Impressive specimen. Hmm. A month of tracking, stalking. But I finally dropped the son of a bitch. Congratulations. Can't help wondering, though. Why'd you keep the corpse? Aim to stuff it? Hang it above the mantle? Hmm. Not a bad idea. Gotta finish the autopsy first, though. This one was quicker than most. Quicker and stronger. Wanna examine it thoroughly. 
Mind if I have a look? Want to do the honors? No thanks. You cut. I'll grab a bite to eat. Let's examine its head. Long whiskers. Protruding frontal lobe, but that's normal. Long ears. And an earring. Mm-hmm. Seen that before. Some of them like shiny objects, like magpies. And in the maw, yellow dull teeth. Missing its upper front teeth. Lower incisors. Clearly not a flosser. Fine, let's move on. Open its gut. So, anything interesting? Uh, bits of undigested food. A few decades worth, looks like. Human hair, a belt buckle, a few coppers, and a gold ring. Wanna give it to Yennefer? <laughs> Ought to be as good as new once you polish it a bit. No thanks. She only wears silver. That's yeah, her loss. Rest is perfectly normal, except for its gnarled liver. Seems like I had a pension for the blood of drunkards. Nice claws. Fifteen inches, I'd say. They grow its whole life. This one was about a hundred, hundred ten years old. Pretty muscular legs. Calves and feet especially. Let me tell you, this sucker was fast. One second here, there the next. Always in the shadows. Could barely see it. So how'd you take it down? <laughs> Long story. Tell you another time. Think I've seen enough for now. This was an old one. Experienced. Hmm. It'd be nice to figure out a way to determine a catacan's age based on its tracks. Avoid running across one like this unprepared. It would, I agree. But later. See you, Eskel. Pulse weak, but regular. What's this? Brewing potions? No. Booze from potato peels. Hmm. For my welcome back feast? Actually, more like my farewell feast. Haven't heard? Madame Sorceress has requested I fortify the phylactery with power from the Circle of Elements. Says it's essential to lifting the curse from that monstrosity of yours. Don't sound too thrilled about all this. I'm not. You know the trek to the Circle's no walk in the park. In more ways than one. Let me go with you. Well, might have more spring in my step with the famous white wolf at my side. So, you ready? No reason to wait. Let's go. Oh, I meant to tell you. Can't get to the Circle through the mountains. Rockslide blocked the pass last spring. So we approach from the pond side, like when we did the trial of the medallion? Exactly. Remember the way? Not easily forgotten that. He who returns with his medallion will prove himself worthy and may set off on the path. Vesemir ever hear you impersonate him? <laughs> yeah. Old man can't stand it. Savola's Breach. Still haven't patched it up? Vesemir'd like to. It doesn't bother me, though. Not expecting anyone to lay siege, and... This way I got a shortcut to the pond. Shame those Salamandra assassins didn't punch a few more holes in our walls. Or finish the job and reduce these ruins to rubble. Been thinking. Are you gonna swim across the pond? No, I got a boat moored there. You know, for fishing. Wow. Never took you for the fishing type. I use bombs. I drop them in and scoop up whatever floats to the surface. <laughs> that makes sense.
Hunting's almost a diversion with that game. We gotta get new one. It's an art. Learned it from this old master down in Zaracania. Yeah. Save that tale for your next sorceress. Winds howling. Tell me about Vesemir. Things any better between you? Seems so. Old man's dropped the moralizing, and I try not to piss him off too often. Mm -hmm. Working out well? Moderately. Castle's pretty big. Easy to stay out of each other's way. Damn it! Moored it right here, I swear! Line must have come loose. Really? Here I thought the boat untied itself to go for a jaunt on its own. Damn it. In this fog, we'll never. There a storm before I arrived? Let me think. Yeah, five days passed. Mm. Wind must have grabbed the sail, tugged the boat off its mooring. Boat drifted into the bushes. thing we need. All right. Cave entrance is just opposite. See it? Gotta sail across the pond, go through the cave, climb Troll's head, and we're there. Doesn't seem like such an ordeal now, does it? No. Still gives me the shivers, though. You know only two boys returned from my group? You were the ones who ran into old Speartip in the caverns, right? Mm-hmm. Let's go. Jump in the boat. All right. I'm taking the tiller, though. Because? Because it's my boat, not up for discussion.
Make this boat yourself? Yeah. Something you don't like about it? Besides the water up to our ankles? Nothing. Quit whining. It'll make it across the lake. Provided we don't smash into something first. Barely see the tip of my nose. Fog's thick as curdled milk. Never took you for a poet. Oh, but I am one. Want to hear a limerick? Sure. Lambert, Lambert, what a prick. Not bad. Fall off a bit. Sails fluttering. Don't teach your grandma to suck eggs. Right, almost there. Ready for the caverns? Almost. Before we go inside... Ugh, drink a dose of cat, I know. Any more words of wisdom, like, step softly or you'll wake old spear tip? Sheesh, you're pricklier than Yen. Ugh, don't fall in love with me. Let's go. Ah! Hear that? Sounds like a kid. You know this valley's uninhabited except for us. It's gotta be an illusion. What if it's not? Whatever you want to do. You're probably right. Let's go, straight to the cave. Finally, something reasonable. Not if I give you a boost. Remember? Part of the trials. A witcher is a lone hunter. But even a lone hunter can use a helping hand sometimes. Vesemir. Ready? Oh! You fat fuck! One, two, three! You're no feather either. Come on, let's go. Wall looks a little shaky. Hard, maybe? Mind not stomping like that. Relax. I slipped. We need to be quiet. I could do without a warm welcome from old Spear Tip. Ah! Oh. What? Something fell in my eye. Splinter, I think. Hope it wasn't from a broken mirror. That'd make you even nastier. Ha ha. Reeks of mold. What did you expect? Scent of violence? Would have been nice. <sighs> ah, so soft and sweet, just sleep in there. Makes you want to make this moment last forever. Oh, good to be back above ground. Mm-hmm. Still trouble ahead. You mean the trolls? They're in for trouble, not us.
We ought to be careful. This is their turf. Couple of trolls got you soiling your knickers? Was bold and brash once, like you. Then I took a pitchfork in the gut. Peasant kid, not a troll. I almost died. Hard way to learn, but I did. Come on. See him shit and run as soon as he saw us? Mm hmm. Never known a troll to do that. We just is to walk no more. The stops? Yeah. East Mountain. Trolley Mountain. Troll Mountain. Huh? Oh. Uh, hi! This troll mountain! Uh, you talk to these idiots. Stay calm. We just want to get to the circle. Which is this thing one say, thing two do, thing three do, sometime. Ah, uh, enough! Out of my way, dimwits, or I'll grind you to gravel. Understand? Mm-hmm, they understood all right. Congrats. Run for the cave, before they stone us to death. Far more! Which is this? Understand it? We understand it, but we still gotta get to the Circle of Elements. Listen, but we. Trolls come know to which you see castle. Rock not there. Pretty rock. Enjoying this little chat? Cause, uh, it's not getting us anywhere. I'm talking. Fact is, you know as much about negotiating as they do about grammar. We're not here to hurt you. We don't want to touch your rocks. Just let us pass. Troll rock troll. Witchesy strike no back. Just talky talky. Witcher. Wood? Only you. Witcher's his monster kills trolls monsters. Yes, true is. No face make. Um, um, we do go this. Use sharp pack clubs leave here. Use pass. No grease. We smash. All right. We'll leave our swords here. Pick them up on the way back. We want to know. Ugh, metal, mouth, thing. You nuts? Shut up and follow my lead. I think you might have missed your calling. Hmm? If I remember Pappy Vesemir's lessons correctly, witchers kill monsters. Your memory's shit. They only kill harmful monsters. Well, we made it. No denying that. Damn. Beautiful view. We can soak it in later. Of course. Duty before pleasure. Remember how this circle works? Been a while since I activated my medallion here. It's fine, old man. No need to make excuses. Light the torches and place the phylactery on the altar. I'll handle the rest. 
How'd it go? Water, then earth, then air? Geralt? 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 Phylactery's in place. Then all we gotta do is wait. The container will absorb the power of the elements while we catch a breather. So, how'd you deal with the trolls when you passed the trial of the medallion? Let me think. Oh yeah, used Axie. But I only had to get past one troll. Other two were busy. Yeah, useful sign, Axie. Saved my life a short while ago. Yeah, Axie's useful. And dangerous. <laughs> what makes you say that? It tempts you to overuse it. Force a merchant to reduce his price. Make an arrogant noble drink from the gutter. Teach someone to show you respect. Can become hard to resist. I don't. Life's too short. Tell me, you always been such a cynical bastard? No. I was adorable before Vesemir brought me to care more him. We all went through it. That's just it. Not everyone made it. Lots of boys died here. Boys taken against their will. It was our destiny. Destiny? Let me tell you about destiny. My dad was a drunk. He'd knock a few back, then beat me and mom bloody. We prayed for his death every night. One day our prayers were almost answered. Dad lost his way coming home from the tavern, walked smack into a nest of Neckers. But some witcher saved him. Know what he wanted in return? Give me the first thing you see when you get home. My life. For the life of that prick? I say fuck that kind of destiny. Didn't know. I'm sorry. Next time you wonder why I'm so bitter. Well, there's your answer. All right. We've griped enough. Let's get out of here. Need to get our swords. But you with no swords like a man without an arm. Sure thing, brother. Which is his sharp back club takes and home goes. Mm-hmm. Don't worry. I don't need convincing. Come on, Gerald, let's go. Right. Let's get back. After you, sir. Crystal! <coughs> you 
you decide to blow us up? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests, especially dull ones. What's eating you? Let me think. That was the third crystal to explode. It's been a week, and Lambert's still not done what I've asked. Vesemir spitefully insists on repairing the wall just beneath my window and starts hammering at the crack of dawn, while Eskel seems to have gone mushroom picking, not forktail hunting. The guys. Well, they're not exactly happy with you. Hmm? Why is that? Because you aren't willing to say what you're planning. You're treating them like pages, not including them. Us, actually, because I feel that way too. I shall explain everything, when the time is right. First, we must finish our preparations. Fine. What do I do? Firstly, help Eskel and Lambert. One was supposed to get me Forktail spinal fluid. The other was to fortify the phylactery with elemental power. I've yet to see anything from either of them. Taken care of. Is that so? My, the initiative. That leaves one other trifle to resolve. As you saw, my megascope's acting up in rather spectacular fashion. I'm certain there's an energy source nearby, generating disturbances, making the crystals malfunction. We must find it and neutralize it. Quickly, I must contact someone. It's urgent. All right. How do I find the source? Use this Potesta Quisitor. Potesta... Potesta Quisitor? Sounds fancy. Complicated. Yet it's ever so simple. Grasp it firmly, move it around, and the louder it squeals, the closer you are. Mm -hmm. Spare me your juvenile wit, please. Well, what are you waiting for? Chirping stick. Disturbance is coming from there. What's in these crates? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert made them. No wonder the megascope doesn't work. All right, gotta get him out of here. I can do that. Rather you not make a mess of my shelves, just keep an eye on Uma. Yes, Uncle Vesemir. How goes it? Vesemir's not working you too hard, I hope. Thought so. All done. You can go. Now, let's check your conditioned reflexes.
Thank you. Seems to be working now. What was it? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert left them by the beds. Hmm. I suppose he had no idea they could interfere with my megascope? You know, Lambert's not exactly an expert on megascopes, so... Please. Lambert is mean, not stupid. But no matter. More importantly, I shall finally be able to contact Ida. The Ida? Elvin Sage? What do you want from her? Stay and you'll learn for yourself. Members of the Lodge don't let just anyone in on their secrets, or so I've heard. Consider it a token of our trust. Now let's begin. And Geralt, behave, please. Didn't you just say you trust me? Stop twisting my words. Kidnail Yennefer at Vengerberg. Gwynblade? Hey there, Ida. Geralt. It matters not, Yennefer. I've grown accustomed to human decorum. Why have you summoned me? We've come up against a curse. One we must lift. It was uttered in a dialect of elder speech unfamiliar to me. I see. The words of the curse? Va fele len, ked mil foli, gled of dawn eptenid bondro isne iachus. Take it you've heard the words before. Yes, in legends, of the kind that do not end happily. Can you help us with the curse? To a degree, Agnes de Glanville's incantation, combined with Elder's Triangle, inverted, of course. They are your only possible recourse, but I cannot guarantee that even they will suffice. Thank you, Ensevern. Va fail. That does not conclude our conversation. What is it? The time of the white frost and white light is nigh. And the world will perish amidst ice. I know Ithleen's prophecy. I don't doubt you know it, but do you understand it? The Elder Blood can initiate the final age. The time of the end. Or stop it. Remember this, Gwynblade. For you will be the one to determine if the seed bursts into flames. Any idea what she was talking about? Siri, of course. Wish everyone would just leave her the hell alone. Wouldn't count on it. All in all, interesting conversation. What now? You can start by apologizing for acting like a boar, despite my asking you not to. I'm sorry. It's just when Ida started in with that patronizing tone... You decided to prove she was completely justified to adopt that attitude. Well done, Geralt. Bravo. <sighs> Oh, enough. All is ready. We should gather the others and begin. Listen, everyone. All is in place. We may begin. Lambert, prepare the apparatuses. Esco, go. Last I heard, my dear, I give the orders around here, not you. I believe we made an agreement to seek to cure Uma my way. I said we would help you, that's it. I don't know what you want to do with them, you haven't deigned to inform us. But it's not safe, is it? Just as I thought. Which is why I think we should first try another, less invasive method. What's this method? Derives from folk traditions. I've used it many times. In 1211, to lift the curse that held the Swan of Povis, for instance. I'll take Uma into the mountains. What then? Will you howl at the moon together? A bit of respect. You're not talking to Geralt. No, we will not howl at the moon. I'll lay him down on a gravestone. Come midnight, I'll give him tea made of hemlock harvested from... But I don't see that I need to explain this to you. 
In my opinion. I know your opinion, but I'm not asking anyone's permission. I'm saying what will happen. I'll be back at dawn with Uma or whoever hides inside him. So, got the evening off. What do we do with it? Vesemir mentioned some roof beams in the tower need replacing. Maybe we could see to that. Or, we could have a drink. Sounds a lot better than the beams. Wouldn't mind a shot myself, or two. Nothing I can do, been outvoted. Let's go. Uh, Yen, we don't have glasses. You all right drinking from a mug? I'd drink from an old boot tonight. <sighs> Perhaps instead of getting crocked in deep glum, we could do some catching up. Eventful times for me recently. Kings, dragons, conspiracies. And then, I found Yen. Yeah, we're thrilled for you. But why don't you tell us about Uma instead? Long story. I was on Ciri's trail. Went to Velen, Skellige, Novigrad, where Dandelion needed saving again. He could caught plowing somebody he shouldn't have been. Right. Speaking of old friends Novigrad and plowing, how's Triss? is managing all right. How are those scars she got at Sodden? Still there? Lambert, not funny. Fine. Conversation turned serious? Let's talk. Yen, what do you plan to do with Uma? I said I'd tell you tomorrow. So tell us now. It's after midnight. I'll subject him to the trial of grasses, but only- You fucking what?! Mind your manners, Lambert. Did you hear what- Not gonna ask you again. Uh, sorry. Looking to turn him into a witcher? Of course not. As I was about to say, I'll only apply the first half of the trial, because- Because you want to watch him suffer? Stop interrupting, or I will watch you suffer. To restore Uma's former appearance, we must first- Hmm. How do I explain it? Imagine a lump of clay. In order to shape it, you must first moisten it or it will crumble. The trial's initial part does just that. It opens the body to change, so to speak. Only then can the mutagens produce a witcher. It'll be the first trial in years, decades. I knew you'd be wary. Wary? That's not the problem. Those secrets have been forgotten, and that's how they should stay. I'd be the last to suggest you start producing hordes of witches. You hardly need to. See, till now we had a great excuse not to take in apprentices. Seems we'll need to talk it over. Maybe later. Who's up for another round? Oh, I am. But we're all out of stuff to chew on. Geralt, mind raiding the kitchen? Not at all. Gentlemen, pleasure drinking with you. Lambert especially. But the hour is late. Don't stay up long. Tomorrow's an important day. <laughs> Didn't listen, did he? They never do. What are you talking about? Sam Avila contract Eskel got a while back. Good story. Finish it in a minute. First, some more fuel. Ooh. Now that's a kick in the liver. What is it? The gauntlet. Equal parts spirit and white gull. What's that look about? Yen's gone to bed. Time for some serious drinking. Damn straight. Pour us another. Bottoms up.
All right, guys. Bedtime. Speak for yourself. Night's still young as I see it. <laughs> but we're not. And tomorrow's a big day. Fine. Drinking with my mirror image is just no fun. At least it wasn't last time. See? Even you can't stand yourself. Good night. up and at him. Hmm. Take it you had a productive evening? Yes. We talked about Uma till late. So I guess you didn't get a chance to see to the beams in the tower. Uh, no. But we'll, uh, get to that, I promise. Right, Lambert? You can give the boys a rap on the knuckles later. Let's get to work. Guess your gravestone and hemlock method didn't work. Not entirely, but I did learn something. While you were out hunting fork tails and playing with a megascope, I examined Uma. Notice one thing. At moments of, what's the term, uh, relaxed consciousness, he behaves differently. While falling asleep, he'd pause awake for an instant. Something different about his movements, his gaze then, but only for a moment. So I induced a trance, hypnotized him, essentially. No effect at first, but as he dropped into deep lethargy, I heard something, a sigh or a moan, and it wasn't Uma's voice. All right, I just don't get how that helps us. Then keep silent. Thank you, Vesemir. And I apologize for what I said earlier. Have the boys told you what we plan to do? Yes, don't like it one bit. I suppose I have to trust you. Right, so what now? We can begin. We need only brew the potions. Wait, why couldn't we- Do it earlier? Because the preparatory potions for the trial are strongly reactive. They must be administered immediately after they're brewed. Satisfied? Geralt, make the potions. Here are the formulae. Eskel, take a bottle of spirit. Uh, no. After last night, I- And disinfect the tools. Well, chop chop. You don't know who's trapped in Uma's body. How did you figure the proportions? Performed a series of complex calculations, extrapolated some data, planned simulations. Meaning you guessed. Mm. Yes? ready. Tools, too. Good. Vesemir? Hookweed extract to deaden the pain. I know. Done this before. Eskel, make the incisions in his veins. Insert the tubes. Geralt, place the potion vials in the feeders. Open the valves. It doesn't matter in which order. The hookweed work? 
If it hadn't, the pain would have sent him into shock, killed him. So, everything's going smoothly? No, but it's within known norms. Administer the next potion. Why'd you keep the table, then? Geralt, next potion. maintain the stabilizing spell. Uma's body is not nearly as resilient as a young candidate witches. Without this, he... <laughs> Eskel, I'm sorry. Would you mind? Getting some rags? On it. Syria there. She could come out of this crippled, wrong in the head, just emotionless. Thought about that? Of course I have. Thing is, we don't have a choice. Not anymore we don't. But we rushed it. Should have started by... Gentlemen, the floor's as clean as it'll ever be. And I need to be wiped down as well. Geralt, maybe you ought to... Come now, Eskel. I shan't bite you. Just do it. disintegrating from the inside. Once that's complete, we'll need to reform it. We'll die. You witches were given mutagens. We will use spells. Hey, Yen. You're dozing off. No. I'm just arresting my eyes. Yeah, it's called sleeping. Then do something to keep me awake. I don't know. Tell me a story. Heard about the time Siri and I went ice skating? No, not that I recall. The winter she trained here. A couple months in, she started complaining I was too harsh a teacher. Brushed it off at first. Then she asked me to go skating with her. Didn't really want to. I'd never been before. But she insisted. As soon as we hit the ice, she started skating circles around me, hollering, No, not like that. Footwork. One, then the other. Crossover. No, wrong. Break with the heel of your skate, not the toes. Needless to say, from then on... He's awake. It's time. Time to lift the curse. Prepare the phylactery. No, no, 
I won't let you. Geralt, yellow flask in my satchel. Quiet. Listen. Koal. Koal. Kaniatad. Never severe. Koal, Koal, Kaniatad. Nebit, Kariba, Endio. Geralt, the phylactery, open it. Kanitag, Taran Anadil, Din. Sage, we didn't lift that curse to play riddles with you. Arwen, Arwen, Shram. And Skellige, follow it into the mists. Hurry, hurry. I tried to protect her. But the curse, the hunt, has not found the isle as yet. It is a matter of time. But if she leaves, they will detect her at once. Enough, Geralt. He's not yet free of death's grip. I'm going to get Siri. Hold up. Don't you think you owe us some answers? How do you know this, Avalok? What's Siri been doing with him? Yennefer can tell you. Just keep an eye on him. He's not a friend. Perhaps not, but Siri apparently trusted him. We should at least take his words seriously. You heard what he said. Take Siri from that Isle of Mists, and the hunt will pick up her trail immediately. What then? What's your suggestion? Siri can't flee forever. One day she'll stumble, and she won't get a second chance. Time we the hunted became the hunters. Geralt will find Siri and bring her here, and the hunt will follow. They'll expect to catch us by surprise, and they'll be sorely disappointed. We plan to fight them. We five? In a crumbling castle? Do we have a choice? Besides delaying the inevitable? Pretty boy could try to round up a few others who know how to swing a sword. Or wield magic. Fine. I'll get Siri and recruit some allies. Bring everyone here. Got a few favors I can call in. Any good-looking women in that batch? Mm-hmm. Exclusively. What do you plan to do? I've Avala to care for. He's certain to die without gentle, gradual magic treatment. There's hope if I help him. Not much, but better than not. The boys and I'll consider how we should greet our uninvited guests. All right. Time I was on my way. Good luck, Wolf. And give Cirilla our love. Come back quickly, Geralt. Find Cyril. Time is dwindling. 